Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a custom block drop um, an item or another block. Now to begin this tutorial I'm starting off with a pre-made block and a pre-made item um, and the block has the current creative tab of tab block and it has a hardness of 0.5f. Um, now to actually make our block drop an item we're going to add a new method inside of the block class, and that will be public int id dropped. id is, is all lowercase and dropped is capitalized. And there are three parameters, and they are int i, random rand, and int j. Now, the two integers aren't terribly important. The random is a little bit more so. But for the moment, um, all we're going to do is actually drop an item. So the way we do this is we'll say return, and then we can, um, for example, for this example, let's use diamonds. So we'll say return item dot diamond dot item ID. Now, I will show you later how to drop, uh, say, one of our own custom items or how to drop a block. Um, but before that, we're going to actually define the number of items dropped, and that requires another method, and that is public int quantity dropped and the parameter here is random rand and here we can say return uh, let's drop six diamonds now the material you set your block to determines whether or not it'll drop a block depending on how it was destroyed for this example, we have it set to material.rock, and that means it's only going to drop uh, whatever we have it set to drop if it's destroyed by a pickaxe or other such or other such tool. Um, if we wanted it to be dropped by anything, no matter what, we can say material.grass or something like that. But I'm just going to keep it at material.rock. Um, and now if we go ahead and run the game, then we can test it out. So if we open up our world, then if we say place our block, um, if we destroy it by hand, you'll see it doesn't drop anything, but if we destroy it with a pickaxe, you'll see it drops six diamonds. I already had one in my inventory. Now, if we wanted it if we wanted um, it to drop, say, a random uh, number of these items, then we could go ahead and say return rand dot next int, um, and we could pass in the value of, say, six. And this time, it'll drop a random number of items between zero and six. If we wanted it to be between one and six, then we could say random.nextint5 plus 1 um, and that will drop between 1 and 5 or 1 and 6 items etc etc. Um, I'm just going to keep it like that and we'll talk about how to drop a custom item. Now if we wanted to drop our um, item tutorial over here we could go ahead and return tutorial.itemtutorial.itemid um, and if we wanted to drop, say, our tutorial block, we could say tutorial.blocktutorial.blockid. Um, keep in mind that there's the difference between block ID and item ID. And if we wanted to drop a vanilla block, we could go ahead and say block dot, say, anvil dot block ID. And finally, if we wanted to drop, if we wanted the block to drop itself, uh, like if you were creating an or or something, then we could just say return this dot block ID. Um, or we could just delete this method altogether and keep the quantity dropped. And this way it'll automatically drop itself with this uh, set quantity. So I'm going to place put this method back. Um, that's going to be the end of this tutorial. Source code is in the description. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more. So I will see you next time. Bye.